One of the hallmarks of classical education is learning how to debate. In this video, we aim to teach students some debating tips so that they'll be able to critically analyze subjects a little bit better. Let's get started. The first debating technique is prepare, prepare, prepare. This is possibly the most important skill because if you don't prepare, it will affect all other skills that you will learn. If you prepare well, you'll be confident and more believable. You'll be less likely to go down a rabbit hole and more likely to be coherent and clear when you say something. As you prepare, try to write down three points for your argument and three points for your opponent's argument. In this way, you'll also be able to anticipate some rebuttals to their arguments. The second debating tip I have for you is stay on topic. You have only a limited time to state your case. And if you use that limited time by going off topic, you lose valuable time. Stay on topic by telling your listeners the three points you've thought about and then elaborate on them further as time permits. The third debating technique I have for you is to speak slowly, clearly and charismatically. When students are new to debating, they often speak hurriedly and they mumble. This isn't very attractive or charismatic behavior for the speaker. As a result, it makes it harder for the audience to like you or want to agree with your point. When debating, you want to be amicable and likable, and so people will want to agree with your points. The fourth debating tip I have for you is to be confident with your topic. If you look like you believe what you're saying, your audience will be confident that you know what you're talking about and you'll be more believable. But if you look nervous and it looks like you don't know what you're talking about and you're just not quite sure about that point, then you're not going to be believable. Essentially, always act like you're winning even if you're not. Next. Think about your body language. A lot of what you're trying to say is actually indicated by your body language. Make sure your body indicates confidence by looking at your opponent and your audience in their eyes. A look, not a stare is what you need here. Use your arms to talk. Of course, not too much arm action. That will be distracting just a little bit. Smiling when appropriate. Keeping a relaxed posture. Not folding your arms and not looking at the ground. And of course, when your team member is making their case, make sure you nod and look like you agree. Another debating technique is to look at the faces of your audience and the judges. Do they look bored? Do they look interested? From this, you might need to adjust what you're saying so then you could tell them a little story to engage their interest a little bit more or move on to another point that is more relevant. Another tip is to listen and take notes. As they're speaking, make sure you're jotting down their points and you're trying to think about rebuttals you might have to their arguments. Don't try and take notes on everything, just jot down their major arguments. Also note down any weaknesses in their logic that you can rebut later. Something all great debaters do is anticipate their opponent's arguments. You need to anticipate what their questions will be, as well as anticipating the judges or the audience's questions. In doing this, you will sweep away your opponent's material that they were going to use to rebut you. Try to make an argument about why your claim has more weight or matters more than your opponent's so that even if you do not win the argument, the audience will look favorably upon you and you'll win the debate. Also, stories and illustration help to get your point across. Telling a story can be a really great move if your audience looks bored or they don't quite look convinced. By telling them a story, you can get them to walk alongside you and understand from your perspective. A good story might help you get back into your audience's good books. Also, make sure you use a strong conclusion. Even if you have wandered a little bit in your debating session, make sure you use a strong conclusion to tie it all together so that people get your main points. If this is done with confidence, a lot can be forgiven. 
And my last point is a great point. It's about being charitable when you're debating. And this point is don't take cheap shots. If you take cheap shots, the audience might think you're a jerk. This can also indicate that you're arrogant and you don't care much for your opponents. As a debater, we're not called to agree with our opponents on everything, but we can still love them and treat them amicably because they might just be on our side one day. Specifically, do not take cheap shots by making fun of the speaker when they've made some fault or mistake, making racial slurs or commenting on a person's background or physique. Don't heckle your opponent while they're talking. This is rude and ill-mannered. And I don't think it's nice to take another person's words out of context. This all comes down to being the better man or woman. Be gracious to your opponents in all situations, even if they are rude. But perhaps this isn't a debating tip so much as it is a general rule for life. So hey, I hope you've really enjoyed this video on debating tips and techniques. Please leave me a comment in the description box below. Please like and subscribe and I will chat to you more in the next video. Bye.